I'd say camp right here, Captain. No signs out there, no sound. Of course, they could be there. Or maybe aren't. Uh, your choice, Captain. I'm only supposed to tell you what I don't hear, what I don't see, what I think. That's what the Army pays me for, to be a scout. All right, we bivouac here. Now, there'll be no cooking, no fires. You will eat what has been packed. There will be no open smoking, pipes only. Keep your hands cupped around the pipe bowls. You will speak in whispers, and you will, if necessary, walk without boots. In short, you will make no moves, no sounds, leave no signs that will give away our position to the enemy. He is out there. Dismount! Sanitary hands off of those, Corporal Cook. Sorry, Doc. I mean, Doctor. In the future, Corporal, you will remain removed from these patients. Is that understood? Yes, sir. Of course, sir. What's the matter, Penrose? I couldn't just stay in the Navy and be seasick all the time. <laughs> you call us up, Sergeant. Maybe, Captain. But I'd as soon settle for the belt my pa used to want me with. Come on. Let's stay put, Lucas. Thank you, sir. Not the easiest way to travel in a country like this. No, sir. Even if I did have the key, my orders are to deliver the prisoner under lock to the retiring officer at Fort Courageous, who will then transport the prisoner to Fort Alcatraz. Well, the prisoner will spend the next 10 years of his life at hard labor. If it's any consolation to you, I didn't think you were guilty as charged. That's very charitable of you, sir. Just so happens I knew the colonel's wife before she was the colonel's wife. How lucky can you get? Tell me something, Captain. If I did rape her as she accused me of doing, would she be worth the 10 years that I got? I wouldn't want to make you feel bad, Sergeant. You don't give me anything for a memory, do you, sir? You can appeal the court, Marshal Lucas. There are ways. No, they got me branded. Once they put the stamp on you, you're marked dirt for the rest of your life. They never let you wash it off. One thing I can feed on, though. I said no to her the night she asked me. I looked her straight into that beautiful face, those beautiful wide eyes, those beautiful red lips, and I said no. It was beautiful, Captain. It really was beautiful. Took more courage than looking down the throat of an Indian with a knife in your scalp. No difference, Captain. I just got scalped differently. Night, Sergeant. Captain.
How you doing, Sarge? I'll live. You want to get out of here? What? The trail narrows a little bit. You ride up, work your way up in front. Around the bend, you're going to find a blind spot. You can take off. I ride out after you. Smash off those irons you got out. I know of a passageway through the rocks, not too far to Mexico. Oh, I'll ride back and tell them I lost you. Why me, Joe? Ten years, long time to take for a little tramp. Yeah, but it's better than getting a bullet in your guts. If they find you... I'll get you out first. I gotta ask you again, why me? Well, maybe it's because I see a little bit of me in you. Of course, I haven't got a red skin. The whites don't want me either, but I'm just like you, only marked different. Wouldn't work. I was raised as a child in an Indian world. You were raised as a white man in his world. How far is Mexico? I lost a woman to an Indian, and all the feelings I had for them turned into hate. But you, you didn't fall in love. You just tried to do the decent thing, and they turned their hate on you, and either way, you're gonna lose, Lucas. How near's the turn? There, up ahead. I feel like one of us ought to have a chance to win. Yeah. I can't do it, Joe. I can't run away from something I know I didn't do. Thanks, anyway. What's happening here? Why did you break away from the patrol? I guess I got caught dozing in the saddle, sir. It took me by surprise. I guess I'm not as handy as I should be with these things on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Stitch up the gory blasted butcher, I will. Oh, thank heavens you're here. Just right, you pull all your guts out with it, just like you spear a fish. Uh, he won't be feeling anything, but be quick. Hey, grab his hand. You're gonna put me out of business, Joe. together. Make a travel boy on the double. Seems to me you got no stripes to go pulling rank around here and be giving orders. You're a prisoner. Seems to me Sergeant Penrose here is the man for that. Are you the man for that, sailor boy? You want to step in the prisoner's shoes, take over, give orders, that what you want? Me? <laughs> All I want to do is smell salt water again. You said a travel boy, Sergeant? Sorry, the last one got away, Sarge. Well, at least we got one. Yeah, it's Chief's son. He's got the markings for it. Well, then we got ourselves a prize. I kill him! 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 All right, all right. All right, all right. Take it easy. Take it easy. It's all right. He can't hurt you anymore. Me, not me! <laughs> Doc! Doc! Nobody can help her! Not now! That your daughter? <laughs> Doc, see to the girl. Oh, you're going to make her human again! The whole person after what they did to her! She's alive, isn't she? I'll do what I can. <laughs> Yeah, Joe? Well, I rounded up what's left of the horse's side. The water wagon? Smashed up. The water barrels? Hacked them wide open. 
All right, let's bury the dead. Look, Sarge, I, I don't mean to butt in. But from here on in, uh, don't you think you're going to need the use of both of your hands? Come on. Sarge, we don't make it so we get thirsty, so we swallow sand. How's the captain? Dying slowly. He just won't give up, a fool of a man. If he were a horse, we could shoot him. No hope at all? You want to bring forth a miracle, Sergeant? No. I want to bring everyone to Fort Courageous. <laughs> then you are asking for a miracle, Sergeant. And I'll drink to it. Oh, thank you. Whiskey? Dries a man's guts up on the desert, Doc. A man's gut, Joe. Now, my boy, I take it all back. I don't think you're going to put me out of business after all. <laughs> Get to the fort, join the Navy. Uh... What's the matter, Joe? You nervous? Me nervous? What's there to be nervous about? Staying alive, maybe? You know, Sarge. They don't have to kill us off. All they've got to do is wait and watch us die. And if we run out of food and water before we run out of the desert, that's exactly what they'll do. Is wait and watch. Them and the buzzards. And all they got to do is come back and get that Indian. Because he'll be the only one that's alive. They're counting on it. He'll survive this. Not us. Yeah. You know, they know we won't kill him if we got him when we got him. But attack us now, uh-uh. No, they wouldn't risk the chief's son. Well, then, we got life insurance. Yeah. Sergeant! Sergeant Lucas! Even if it could pull him into pull any life he had left out of him over this ground. Okay, Doc, okay. We'll carry him. Wolf! Blackie! Sam! All right, fellas, we'll take turns carrying.
Looks like the old man in his chariot's making rain for somebody. Yeah, on the other side of the mountain. Uh. 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 He's running a fever. Next it'll be gangrene. Uh. I don't even have any water to cleanse his wound. Why doesn't he die? I've already asked myself that, remember? He'd be better off. But can you take a gun and shoot him like you did that horse? Might as well have a drink, Sergeant. Best painkiller I know. Finest chemical for courage on the market. And we're gonna need big buckets of that before we die here. <laughs> Penrose. How much water we got left? Nearly empty, about half full. Here's your water, Doc. When the rest runs out, we'll give them stones to suck on. doesn't say anything. But I know. I listen to her cry in her sleep. You know, I don't even know your name. Ruth. Ruth Faith. This is my daughter, Elizabeth. I'm Anthony Lucas. I know. I asked one of the men. What else did you ask? That was all, Sergeant. Where did you come from that day? From what used to be a place to live. From a husband who used to be alive. Killed? How else does one die in this country? I was taking her to find a new way of life, a safe way of life. What makes you think there's a safe way of life in this world? Oh, that's why you choose this way? To fight, to kill? It's my job. It's what I do best. You were ready to kill a man. How would you know my feelings? You weren't there. You didn't see it happen. It is not your daughter. No, I guess I wouldn't know. Sergeant. Why are you a prisoner? I was court-martialed. Why? The charge was rape.
Put a stone in your mouth. Helps keep away the dryness. Keeps up the flow of saliva. Sergeant? Such a bad march, what is that? <laughs> no, Charles, just routine, just everyday simple little old routine. Which way is the fort? Bugler, sound officer's call. We'll have to set up a hospital. Good God in heaven. inside.
Sergeant, these men are dead. I have two men who are still breathing. Now, where can I set up hospital? Clark. Yes, sir. Get a detail together. See them in the mess hall. Then take your orders from Dr. McNish. Corporal Cook, secure the prisoner. And then get a burial detail. O'Connor. Yes, sir. Get some quarters for the ladies. Gazar, secure the fort. Okay, Sergeant. Pull up some water from the well. Okay, Sergeant. Maybe they didn't get to the sub vault. Check it for ammunition and food supplies. Right. everything, didn't they? Yeah, they always do. Now what? Bury him. Tell you what, Joe. We're gonna let them know that we know, that they know that we're in here. Bugler, sound the colors. Right, Sergeant. Sort of naked. He wouldn't listen to me. You know, you could have been in Mexico. Oh, I'd miss all the fun. Major Gibbs, Sergeant. He wants to see you. Thank you. Well, you better hold on to those. He may want them back on me. seen him. Well, it's been a little busy around here. I didn't have a chance. I wanted to thank you. For what? For Elizabeth and for myself. Well, there's no need to thank me. I didn't do anything. You helped save us. Maybe we should thank you. If we hadn't run into you, we wouldn't have the prisoner we have now. hate him now, but he may be the only one that'll really save you. Sergeant Anthony Lucas reporting, sir. Sergeant. Thank you, sir. So you're the prisoner. You were very lucky, sir. That I was. They left me for one of the dead, but I was in a state of shock and unconscious, as your uh, doctor diagnosed. It wasn't nice to see. No, sir, I know. We buried the dead. You sent for me, Major. Sergeant, I have been retired. After 25 years of service, I have been retired. Captain Howard was sent here to officially relieve me of my duties. 
However, my final order is to see that you are delivered as a prisoner to Fort Alcatraz. The column will be reformed, and as soon as it has been resupplied, we shall leave this fort and proceed to our destination. Sir, we wouldn't survive one day out of here. They know we're in here. They're just waiting for us. You underestimate the will of survival, Sergeant. Well, what about the water, sir? We managed to salvage one barrel from the sub vault. We can't take half and leave half here. I understand you got here without water. You survived. But what about the men, sir? I don't think they can take that again. I'm not asking you to think, Sergeant. I'm telling you what the orders are. And according to the orders, I have been officially relieved of my duties. But this man is dying! That man was sent here to officially relieve me of my duties. I have been retired. You're supposed to be a doctor? Save him. You ladies can stay here or you can come with us. There'll be a relief column with men and supplies later. Make your choice. Sergeant, the prisoner is your responsibility. Yes, sir. Corporal, he comes with us. Yes, sir. Troop farm! Over the gates! Tell him it's his life for ours. Tell him! Anything you say, Major. Major! Major! Captain Howard is dead. Well, Major, I guess that puts you back in command of the fort. Corporal, haul him up. Haul him up high! See him. I'd bet my life on it. All right, Joe. If you hear anything or see anything. Sure, Sergeant. Sure, sir. I'll, I'll let you know. Oh, Sergeant. You know, you could have been in Mexico. <laughs> Next time, Joe. Next time.
Lucas! Too, eh, Sergeant? That's the price of life these days, isn't it, sir? Canteen. Thanks. Come on. Now I want you to stay inside from here on. I'm not going to let anything happen to you. Don't worry. I promise. She hasn't taken her eyes off him. Mm. Out of pity or out of hatred? I don't know. She's changed. She is different. And you? What's it done to you? I feel a little lost. Alone. Not needed anymore. Well, we all have to grow up sometime. But her way, Lucas. To suddenly become a woman her way? The book has no rules. Not for anyone. saying do you want engraved on your tombstone, Sergeant? <laughs> Thanks, okay. Joe. Yeah. Uh -huh. He looks about broiled to Dundas. Never would have known the Major had a taste for Indian meat. Sergeant Lucas. You cut him down. Yes, sir. After I ordered him strung up. He would have died. You disobeyed my orders. Alive, he's hope for us. Dead, he's just another corpse. Us along with him. Penrose. Sergeant, consider yourself under arrest. Remove this man to the sub vault and put him under lock. Yes, sir. And Sergeant. This time, under the present circumstances of duress, you can consider yourself the lucky man. I could have had you shot. Thank you, sir. Get him up. Get him up! He could never stand. He's suffering from exposure, dehydration. And by heaven, he'll crawl. Open up. 
sir. I was the one that first roped him. I kind of like to go with you. I naturally don't trust coyotes, rattlesnakes, or redskins. surprise you? Does that surprise you that I didn't care what happened to you, to you people? I didn't. I wanted out. <laughs> Twenty-five years. Waters. Fighting, killing. The day my retirement papers arrived, that's the day they stormed the fort. I, I fought back. And then I deserted my command and I ran to the deepest corner of the sub vault and I hid. I didn't want him to take what was left of my life. Freedom. You should understand understand what that means, Sergeant. But I hope you don't, you don't find it the same way I, I will. In hell.
Sorry, Penrose. He's coming. The patrol's coming. Open those gates. He's not for real, Sarge. It's the oldest trick in the world. Secure those gates! All right, man. Take it easy. It's a little game you like to play. Now, let's stay sharp up there. I told you, the book has no rules. Does it matter anymore? You know, Sarge, if you ask me what I think, I think we're in trouble. Well, now, Joe, you could speak plainer than that. Maybe I ought to go out there and see how many of them there are or where they are. Maybe find a way to get past them. Like to Mexico? You getting choosy now, Sarge? You know what you're doing, Joe. No, but there's only one way to find out. Don't do him. You wouldn't want to know. Well, isn't there anything that you are going to do? There isn't anything anybody can do. We can all get drunk, Sergeant, and have a gory, merry wake. So you're just going to let him die, then? Yes! We are going to let him die. Or we go out there and get the same thing. That's what they expect us to do. They think we have compassion for our fellow man, and then we'll go out there and we'll save him. But you went out and brought the Major back. He was my commanding officer. <laughs> Joe's my friend. I'll do for him what he'd do for me. He knew the risk, he knew what would happen. It's just like murder. You had to watch what they did to your daughter. And you didn't help... Well, we stay here and we listen. We listen to him cry himself to death. And when the torch burns out, that's when he'll die. Oh. 
God bless you, Bucko. I'm sure he thanked you for it. Here they come! Slob may live. Put him on the table. I would say so, Doc. I would say so. Lucas. Lucas. I thought I told you to stay. Elizabeth, you will be all right. Well, you get back there. I will, I will. Dying will come soon enough. Please, please take me in your arms. I want you, and I want you now. Oh, without a time and place. I can close my eyes, and I can imagine that we are somewhere else. Thank you. But this is the second time in my life I have to say no. I'm not like her. I, I really want you. Or do I scare you? What can I say? You can say hello, goodbye, or just a prayer. You're afraid. I'm always afraid. I'm only human. You see, you slowed down my hate. You suddenly made me believe that Elizabeth could have a chance in life. I meant it. How about me? How about my chances? I've got ten years on my back. I'm not the Colonel's wife. Oh, oh Lucas. Oh, Lucas, if we ever manage to live this out, you've got to make them know the truth. The real truth. The day I do, I'll find you.
Uh, the only way to die. I do trust they have a good supply in hell. You know how to use a gun, Doc? Not very well. I run out of bullets, I spit in their eyes. <laughs> that ought to blind the gory, blasted beggars. <laughs> Come on. Just sitting there. They've given us their side. It's all over. They said that we are warriors like they, that we can live to fight another time. First Navy ship I see. Being shark bait was never like this. Which way to freedom, Lucas? Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> 